now let me try to come out of it and go to the IntelliJ and create one Java project. So let me try to come out of it and here go to the IntelliJ. Now create one Java project. So go to the file new and go to the project. And let's say it is a stream API demo, something like that I am going to create. Okay. And uh, it is a Java project and let me try to create it out. Open it in a new tab and wait for a few seconds to load it. Once it is load, then uh, we can start doing the development. So just wait. I think it is uh, good to go. So what we are going to do is we are simply going to see uh, how we can create a stream. And we are possibly going to use all the uh, intermediate and the ter Terminal methods that we have discussed or intermediate and terminal operation that we have discussed in the stream API So for that let me try to create one uh, or what we can do is here also we can do the same thing. Let me try to Come here to the main method and try to create uh, a stream first and then we'll uh, try to apply those uh, methods and then see okay so let me try to comment out this piece of code or what we can do is we can test it out. Let me try to run this and then see if it is working or not. It will work right. So just wait for a few seconds and here you can see we are getting the hello world. Now let me try to comment out of uh, comment out this piece of code and try to do one thing is uh, try to create a list of integers and then we'll try to perform the operation on that. So whatever we have discussed here, here you can see we have the list of numbers and uh, uh, it is from 1 to 10 and then we are applying the filter map and then collecting it out. So we are going to create a list of numbers first and then uh, after that we'll try to uh, perform various operations on this list. Like first we'll try to create a stream out of it and then we'll apply the intermediate and the terminal operation on it and then see the results. So uh, what we are going to do is let's say we are going to create a list of integer uh, let's say it is uh, numbers and here you can do is uh, let's say arrays dot as list and then you can provide the numbers here so let's say one two three four and till let's say we are going to keep it till 11 okay now let me try to import this list here and we are good now we have the list of numbers here and uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to create the stream out of it so just create a stream and then uh, let me try to show you the intermediate options or intermediate operation that are available so you can see that we have the map collect sorry we have the map filter sorted and distinct find any all match so these are the intermediate operations that you can apply here on the stream so first of all what we are going to do is we are going to apply the filter and then see the result so in the filter you have to provide the predicate so if you go inside the filter you will see that there is only like it is taking the predicate here right and if you go to the predicate you will see that there is one single uh abstract method which is test and it is t taking t as an input and returning a boolean out of it so uh, we are directly going to uh, like directly going to implement the single abstract method of the predicate here in the filter so how we can do that let's say uh, we are going to uh, filter out the elements if they are even or not so based upon that uh, we are just going to filter out the uh, elements or a stream of elements or a stream of numbers so the condition you have to provide here is uh, you have to check for the even numbers so for that uh, we have to like the number should be divided by 2 and that would be the even number right so this is the condition for that and now what we are going to do is we are just going to simply uh, apply the for each for each and try to print out each element one by one so what you can do is either like if you go inside the for each it will ask for the consumer 
you can see that and in the consumer you have the accept method which is taking t as an input and not not returning anything right so what you can do is you can uh, using the lambda expression you can directly come here and print out the each element one by one so the same way like this is how you can do that or there is another way i will show you that as well which is a method reference way of printing out the element or you can say or uh, replacing the lambda expression so let me try to uh, run this piece of code and then show you the result so here you can see we are getting the result we are getting the even numbers which is 2 4 6 8 and 10 out of this uh, list of numbers which is from 1 to 11 so what we are doing is we are applying the filter we are passing the predicate condition here and then we are printing out each element one by one okay now uh, if you want to replace this lambda expression then you can directly use the method reference at the place of that so just uh, go to this system dot out and then you have to pass the method reference like double colon and then print alert this is a uh, this is one of the uh, method reference which is static method reference i already have discussed all these things in the previous video so you can go and watch it out now let me try to run this and then show you the result. So here you can see we are getting the result. So everything is working fine and uh, now what I will do, uh, let me try to show you how we can use the map function here. Okay, so we have used the filter one. Now let me try to use the map here. So let me try to introduce the map here itself. So what we are going to do is first we are going to filter out the elements or the numbers based upon the uh, filter condition which is we are filtering out here the even numbers and now what we are going to do is we are just going to multiply the filtered numbers by 2 or by 3 okay so let me try to convert that filtered numbers and into some like transform that filter numbers by multiplying them by some n numbers okay or n integer you can say so what uh, this is what we are going to do so uh, let me try to just rearrange the code and then it will look good so let me try to rearrange it so we have the numbers on the numbers uh, like we are converting that numbers into the stream and then applying the filter and then what we are doing is we are just going to uh, print it out now let me try to apply the map here so just let's say it is map and in the map if we'll go inside the map let me try to rearrange it okay so we are not able to so if you'll go inside the map you'll find this it is taking the function functional interface if you'll go inside the function you have this apply method which is taking t as the input and returning r as the output so the same way you have to uh, like implement the function functional interface here okay so it will take two inputs and uh, like it has uh, it will take one input which is t and it it will return the different output which is r okay so let me try to uh, implement the function functional interface here inside the map and let's say we are inputting t and then we want two into t okay so two times t out of it okay so this is what we are going to do now after that what we are doing is we are just uh, iterating each element and printing it out so just uh, run this application and then see so here you can see in the result we are getting the expected output which is we are first filtering out the list of numbers based upon the condition which is uh, we are filtering out the even numbers and then we are multiplying the each numbers or each element by 2 so you can see uh, we are getting 4 8 12 16 and 20 okay so this is how you can apply the filter and map here now let me try to show you some others uh, intermediate operation here so we have discussed about the filter and map now let me try to show you about the uh, this uh, distinct so this will try to uh, give you the distinct element so let's say there is a uh, 
possibility of having the duplicate element so it will remove the duplicate element and it will try to give you the distinct distinct element okay so let's say uh, we are going to apply the distinct here as of now we don't have any duplicate element inside our list so let me try to put some duplicate elements here so let's say uh, and let me try to remove this uh, map from here so what we are going to do is we are just going to simply filter out the elements uh, uh, like filter out the even elements and then we are checking the distinct out on it and then we'll try to print out okay so let me try to remove this map as of now and uh, let me try to remove this distinct right now but uh, later on we'll uh, put that thing as well here so let's say we have uh, we are putting the distinct uh, sorry duplicate elements like eight is two times so as uh, let's say six is also two times so So we have two uh, duplicate element six and eight. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we are going to first uh, convert that into the stream, filter out the even numbers and print it out, and then we'll show you the use case of the distinct there. So just run this application and try to see. So here you can see we are getting the dis uh, duplicate elements right, two four and double six double eight and then ten. So we are printing out the duplicate element as of now. But when you apply the distincts here you will not see this uh, duplicate element so let me try to apply the distinct method here and then try to pre uh, run this application and then see so here you can see that we are not getting two times six and two times eight right the duplicates are removed from the list now let me try to discuss about the other intermediate operations like uh, sorted okay so let me try to remove the distinct from here and uh, for the sorted uh, let me try to put couple of uh, others uh, numbers here and make this list as a unsorted list so let's say we are going to put some duplicate numbers here let's say seven six five four and two now let me try to run this and then show you how the list is looking like after the filtering so you can see that we are getting this two four six double six and double eight ten six four two so the list is not sorted right it is not in the sorted order now what you can do is you can apply the sorted here so just uh, look for the sorted so you can see that we have two sorted methods one is is without the any argument and the second one is the taking argument which is comparator so the first one is used for the default natural sorting order and the second one is used for the customized sorting order so you have to create a custom comparator there and you have to pass how you want to sort your elements according to that so let me try to use the uh, default natural sorting order as of now so let me try to use the sorted method i don't pass any comparator there and try to run the application again and then see the result so here in the result you can see that the list is coming as sorted list right we have the sorted elements here so this is the work of uh, the sorted intermediate operation now we have discussed about uh, filter map distinct sorted and there are many more intermediate operation you can use and you can work on it and you can try to experiment with them okay now let me try to move uh, to the terminal operations okay let me try to discuss about the terminal operation as of now we are only discussing about the for each right this is one of the terminal operation and we have used the use uh, we have seen the use cases of this for each method now we'll discuss about the others terminal operations here and then show you the results how they are behaving so let me try to uh, uh, remove this sorted and let me try to revert back our uh, let's say the list to the sorted list okay and we are just putting this 11 here so what we have is uh, we have the list of numbers from 1 to 11 and now we are converting that into the stream filtering it out and then we are just simply printing it out but what if i will tell you that i will ask you that you have to keep uh, this filtered elements in some list so how you can do that you don't print it just keep it in some list so how you will do that 
So let me try to show you how you can do that. So there is a method called collect. So you have to call the collect here and then inside the collect you have to pass a list. Okay. So if you want to store this uh, elements, filtered element into the list, so you have to use the collectors dot to list. Okay. So just call this collector dot to list method here and then you are good. Now uh, we have to store it. So just let me try to create one variable here where you can store it and then simply we'll try to print it out. So let's say it is result and then we are storing it out here and then just copy this result and write a print statement here and put the result there. Okay. Now just uh, run this application and then see the result. So here you can see that uh, we are getting the uh, filtered elements and it is inside the list. Okay. So this is how you can collect your element into the list using the collect method, which is a terminal operation. Okay. Now let me try to remove these duplicates from here and then. Okay. So we are good. Now if we we'll run it again, you will see the result. So you can see that, right? Now let me try to discuss about the other uh, terminal operations like let me try to remove this first and then see what is the coming. So you can see that there is a reduce and uh, after that we have all match, we have count as well. So we'll discuss, let me try to discuss about the count first. So it will give you the count of uh, elements that you have into the stream. Okay, so Let's say we just want to have a, okay, why are you getting this? Okay, now let me try to print out this answer here. So you can see that uh, when we are filtering out our elements, uh, like even elements, then we have only five elements, which are events out of this list, right? So you can see that uh, the count is five. So it should print five here. Now let me try to run this and then show you the result. Okay, so just wait. I don't know why it is taking time. You can see that the result is five here. So uh, the count is also working fine. If you want to have the count of the uh, elements from the stream, like it is taking the stream as an input, and giving you some result that you can write down, that you can store. So the count is uh, trying to check for the count of the element into this strip. Okay, so this is about the count. Now let me try to uh, show you how we can use the reduce here. So just go to the reduce. There is a three version of reduce. If you go inside the reduce, you can see that it is taking uh, uh, this uh, T and binary operation one is taking the binary operation and the third one is taking the u and by function and binary operation so uh, let me try to show you how you can use the reduced uh, by giving you one example here so let me try to go to the main and here you can use the reduced uh, for like trying to sum uh, the result or trying to do the subtraction on the result try to do the comparison on the results so you can use this reduce here so these are used for that okay if you want to let's say uh, multiply all the elements in the into the stream or into the list then you can use the reduce here if you want to sum all the elements into the list you can use the reduce if you want to do some operation on all the elements like collective elements you want to sum all you want to multiply all then you can reduce. So, so that is what uh, the reduce is used for. It is used for the aggregate operation. So let me try to uh, use the reduce here to sum all the elements that we are filtering out. Okay. So first let me try to simply uh, print out here. So just for each and you can say that system dot out dot print ln uh, and we are not going to store it out let me try to remove it I just want to show you what the result we will get and then 
what would be the sum of those elements. So let me try to run it and then show you. So here you can see that we are getting 2, 4, 6, 10 and sorry 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. If you sum all of them, what would be the sum? 2 and 4, 6, 6 and 6, 12 and add 20 and then 10, 30. So the result would be 30, right? Now let me try to uh, do one thing. Let me try to use the reduce here and then show you the result. And we have to put it somewhere in some result variable so let me try to create that and let me try to convert this whole thing into the integer okay now here you can use the reduce so in the reduce you have to pass these two elements and it will take uh, two elements from the list try to do the operation on that so let's say we are taking one and three or let's say we are taking two and four and then what we are going to do is we are going to sum it okay so it will try to uh, sum this two elements and then give you the result okay so let me try to remove this and then see where we are getting this error okay it is asking me to create a response of optional integer type so just do it and then let me try to print out this result here and just uncomment this piece of code now run this and then see the result so you can see that we are getting the result as 30 right it is coming in the optional because we are using this optional variable here but you can figure out how we can remove the optional and try to store it into the uh, the desired variable that you, we want into or desired data type that we want into okay now this is about the reduce if you want to sum all the elements then you can come here and use the reduce now let me try to uh, so you if you want to multiply it out so just replace this and then put a multiply sign here and then you can see the result so the multiplication would be 3840 okay so this is how you can use the reduce okay so this is about the basic uh, thing about a stream how you can create the stream how you can apply the intermediate operation on the stream and how you can apply the terminal operation onto the stream. So this is about the basic of a stream. I already have two videos on my channel where I have discussed about the Java interview asked codes on a stream. So you can go and watch it out. Like there I have discussed about how you can filter out the list of employees based upon the salary. How you can filter out the list of employees based upon the uh, age or the highest second highest salary so those kind of question i have discussed there in those video you can go and watch it out if you want me to cover a separate video on the stream again uh, where we want to have uh, the stream operation on the custom objects or the custom uh, let's say java object that we have created like employees object straight object then let me know i will create a different video on that separate video on that so this is about the video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks